Hey, what's going on guys? This is going to be an unboxing here of the HG1100 scale Serpent Custom from Gundam Wing Endless Waltz. I really love this design uh, since the first time I saw Endless Waltz and I've actually built this kit before a long, 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 long time ago. So I do have that kit that I built a long time ago, but I not too long ago picked up another one. So I thought it'd be a good chance to share this with you guys. And so yeah, this should be pretty fun unboxing. I, what I really like about these old 100 scale HG wing kits, they're pretty nice kits for one, and the other reason is that they all come with these figures in here as well. These are 120 scale, I believe. Yeah, 120 scale. In this case, this one comes with uh, two, actually, Relina as well as Mighty Maya. The other ones, I believe, all come with just one, the specific pilot of the Gundam. But in this case, uh, there's no like specific pilot since it's just a grunt unit, so it comes with the both of them, which is really cool. So, really like these kits. Let's check out what we've got in here. So here at the bottom, just a little bit of statistics there. On the side, this is uh, number seven in the Endless Waltz line, after like the six main Gundams, I, I guess. Over here on the side, you can see what the kit is going to look like, as well as all the armaments that this kit comes with. That's another thing that I like about this kit, is that it comes with plenty of armaments here. We have that giant bazooka, and I think one's a big beam cannon, and then the other one is the uh, big twin Gatling guns, just like the Heavy Arms Custom. And then over here, a bunch of information, all in Japanese and English, but you can see there's about those two weapons there. Uh, so this one's the beam cannon and that one's the bazooka, right? So, pretty cool. Around on the other side, a little action shot. So it looks like we've got a little clear piece there for the kind of visor as well, mono eye, whatever you want to call that. And then the shoulders open up with the little missiles inside there. Very cool. And then there's a little bit about Endless Waltz there, a couple other kits in the line, the Death Scythe Hell and the Sandrock Custom. And the list price for this, only 2,000 yen. So for a pretty decent 1-100 scale kit, that also comes with a bunch of big weapons, or a few very large weapons, and a couple of 120 scale figures for 2,000 yen. Very nice. Now, of course, these kits are just basically large 1,100 scale old high grades, so they're not super articulated or super detailed, but they're not bad at all, I think. So, got those. Just got all of our parts in here, weapons parts. I imagine this is the same runner that comes with the uh, Heavy Arms Custom. Uh, exactly the same, I'd imagine. We can probably check that once we take a look at the runners in more detail. Ah, sorry, not a clear piece, but it comes with a little jewel for the eye. So there you go, there's that. And once we get down to our manual here, very much like an HGUC manual here, we've just got a nice big reference photo of what the kit is gonna look like, all painted up and detailed up there. Some information again here over on the side, a double Gatling gun times two, beam cannon one, bazooka one. On the back, color guide there at the top, all in Japanese, and a nice uh, back image of the mobile suit. One thing that I don't like about this kit though is I feel like the legs are too thin. That might be accurate, but I think this design just looks better with a little bit bulkier legs. So that would be one thing that I would wanna do is just bulk out the legs a bit on this one. I think. Uh, going to the center pages here, we've got a whole bunch of stuff. There's a whole bunch of stills from the anime there, from the OVA, and then of Marimea and Relina there as well. And then just some more, just kind of the same shots we saw on the outside of the box, basically just in larger uh, details. And painting guide here, at least reference images there for painting the figures. And then uh, a whole bunch of stuff here at the front too. There's actually quite a lot in this manual, very much like a master grade manual, considering how much detail and information and photos and illustrations and everything that's in here. Very cool. like this a lot. Parts list here. And it looks like we're going to be using everything on there as far as I can tell. And then it's just on with the construction. So it just goes legs, arms, and then over the center page here. The torso section, head, backpack, and weapons. And then once that's done, just going through the gimmicks a little bit there about how to attach Relina's ponytail onto the back of her head, how to hold the different weapons and attach them onto the backpack. And that's it, so let's take a look at the runners. All right, so first up, here's the foil sticker sheet, another good sign, very few foil stickers on here you'll notice. Now, I imagine there's still probably uh, many color apps, small little bits of color apps missing from the kit that aren't covered by these stickers that you will have to paint on either way, but still, at least there's very few stickers to worry about. And once again, here's the little jewel there for the eye, so that'll be cool. I won't then probably use this for the review because then I can't like restick it, so I'll keep that for later, but that comes with the kit. PC111 for our polycap runner, just in standard gray. And once again, here is our Mighty Maya and Relina 
figures. Now, I I love the fact that we get these figures in these old 100 scale kits and in some of the old master grades also included these. The thing is that they're in this soft rubber and they're really hard to just clean up and sand when they're just made of this soft rubber like this. So that's just kind of annoying. I don't really know what, what Bandai's reasoning was behind that, but whatever the case, that's what we get. And for runner A here, we've got four colors, a little bit of red at the top, a little bit of gray over here on the side, some light tan through the center, and then a little bit more brown color there over on the side. Runner B here, just all in brown for some of the larger parts for armor parts for the chest, shoulders, forearms, and things like that. Runner C is a whole bunch of parts here in the lighter tan color, and so there you go, just big parts there for the legs, arms, again, shoulder parts, I think this is knee joints there as well. And the runner D is the parts for the Gatling guns, as well as this hip part there in there as well, randomly. But yeah, this runner is marked for the Gundam Heavy Arms Custom and the Serpent Custom, so this would be the same runner included for both of those kits. And then runner E is in a really dark plastic, it's like black sort of, but it has a little bit of a green tint to it, which is kind of strange. But there you go, some more parts for the darker parts for the feet, and a couple of parts there for the backpack and inside the uh, shoulder missiles there as well. Then runner F1 is our beam cannon, as you can see, very large, but very few parts with that. So if you want to make that a little bit more colorized, you'll have a lot of masking ahead of you. And the same thing here for the bazooka, runner F2, which is basically just two parts sandwiched together. And that is it. That said, really cool bazooka. I really like the design of this. So that's it for the 100 scale Serpent Custom. Very cool kits. Like I said, uh, I wish that Bandai would make a master grade of this someday. That would be cool. I kind of don't ever foresee that really happening, considering we haven't even got a master grade of the Leo or some of the other more common mobile suit uh, grunt kits from the Wing series. But hey, who knows? If they eventually do, I'll be pretty happy. But in the meantime, this kit is definitely not bad. Of course, it will take a little bit more work. Uh, but I think it still makes for a pretty cool kit and considering everything that you get in here I think it's definitely worth the, the price of this one So check it out if you haven't and we'll see it in the review coming up next So leave any of the further questions and comments you guys have there down below and I'll see you in the review. Bye. Bye Thanks for watching See you next time